Roll up, roll up, ladies and gentlemen, and prepare to bear witness to the marvellous magnificence which is the latest Virtual Stadium Tours video. Please remember to keep your hands and fingers off of the screen at all times to avoid impairing your viewing pleasure. Thank you very much for watching. And so today we are taking a look around the BMO field. That's right, it is the home arena of Toronto FC. Uh, of the MLS. Toronto are actually the first ever Canadian team to be added to the MLS. Uh, if you're unaware, the MLS is the American Soccer League. In Europe, we call it football. And as always for you, the first fact I have about this stadium is its overall capacity. And um, like a few stadiums of this sort, open-ended stadiums mainly made for soccer, it has a few different events that take place, which means that the overall attendance is slightly different depending on what's going on there because they close certain terraces if they know they're not going to sell out the stadium. Which means if there's uh, if Toronto are playing here or there's, an, there's a rugby union game playing here because often the Canadian national rugby union side plays their matches in this arena, the overall capacity is around 30,000. Whereas if there's Canadian football taking place in this arena, the overall capacity drops down to around 26,500. And that's because they just know they wouldn't sell out the stadium if it was full. So it's better to save a bit of money and close off a whole part of the stadium than to keep it open and then waste the money. Um, saying that, the record attendance actually was set during a 2016 MLS Cup playoff game. And that was set at 36,000. So the... Oh, the overall attendance can be quite flexible, can be moved up and down, depending on what's actually happening in the arena at any one time. Anyway, moving on from that now, let's talk about the name quickly. It's called the BMO Field. The BMO part does, of course, stand for the Bank of Montreal. And when they acquired the naming rights to this arena, they shortened it down to BMO, just because they thought it would be easier for people to say and more recognisable. Let's now move on and talk about the construction of the stadium. Now it was broken ground in 2006 in March and was opened in April 2007 so it took just over a year to build this arena and it's gone under major reconstruction work since then. In 2010 it was expanded and then once again in 2014 through to 2016 the renovation took place. And when it was initially built, it was at a cost of 62.9 can million Canadian dollars. And that's around 71.5 million dollars in today's money. But an interesting fact to do with the construction of this arena is that this is actually the fifth stadium to be built on this exact space in uh, Toronto, Ontario in Canada, obviously. Um, because this same arena has been used for many different sports going back down through the years. And so they just keep demolishing the stadium and building a brand new one on top. Which is quite an efficient way of using the land, but apart from that, not, not, probably not the best way to do it. As I have already stated, this arena has gone under a few renovations. Let's start talking about them now. So in 2009 and 2010, it, it went under a series of smaller renovations um, to improve the overall site and to slightly uh, upgrade the... The attendance, the capacity of the arena by about 1,400 seats. Um, and they also laid a brand new playing surface during that renovation. However, in 2016, 2014 to 2016, they went through somewhat of a larger renovation project. And after many years of wrangling, trying to get the finances together, um, they managed to get up about 30 to 20 to 30 million dollars to try and get this renovation underway and what they wanted to do was make the whole arena be spruced up and come up to MLS standards so that and rugby union standards so that it could continue being used as one of the top stadiums in Ontario and um, Toronto Canada and they managed to finally get the funding together in 2014 and begin the renovations again the funding plagued the renovations themselves stopping them from opening up too much stuff and uh, it was eventually completed earlier on this year in 2016 though so it has now finished that renovations. Anyway let's now move on and talk about some of the events that have taken place in this arena. So in 2007 Toronto FC played their first ever game at the BMO field. Um, 
In 2008, the MLS All-Star Game took place at the BMO field between West Ham United and the MLS All-Stars, of course. In 2009, the Toronto Nationals of Major Lacrosse began playing their games at the BMO field, so that's interesting. In 2010, it became the first ever arena outside of the United States to host an MLS Cup match. Uh, in 2010, of course, this was between the Colorado, Colorado Rapids defeating the FC Dallas side 2-1. In 2011, as I've already mentioned, this arena became Canada's National Rugby Union side stadium. And it's played at the venue regularly ever since. And finally, earlier on this year in 2016, it was announced that the National Hockey League would announce that the BMO field would be hosting an outdoor game known as the NHL Centennial Classic. And that will be happening on the 1st of January 2017. So it'll be happening next year between the Toronto Maple Leafs and the Detroit Red Wings. Anyway, the final fact I have for you here today is that this arena actually only allows one rock group to have music concerts in this arena, and that is Genesis. Now, I've done a bit of research into this and can't find why they're the only music group that are allowed to play in this arena, but it's just an interesting little quirky fact about this arena that Genesis are the only band allowed to play here, so that's interesting. And anyway, that is all I've got time for you, so I will see you next time. Thank you for watching this Virtual Stadium Tours video. If you enjoyed it and would like to see every new video this channel uploads as soon as it uploads them to the interwebs, why don't you press the subscribe button down below this video right now. Goodbye.